Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, this is going to be Dismal News Sunday. Yeah, I'm um, already feeling sad though. It's It's been a downer. We've already talked about how Disney had to borrow money just to keep the lights on. Uh, we talked about how GameStop closed all their stores and they're probably going to stay down for the count. You know, in my opinion, I, I don't know. I hope I'm wrong. And now we're going to talk about movie theaters and how movie theaters are probably also going to be down yeah. for the count. Like we're watching the end of, of game stores and we're probably watching the end of comic shops and we're probably seeing the end of movie theaters. This is like the entertainment. Well, not the end, but well, the, what we know greatly now. Greatly diminished. Yeah. It, it'll be like arcades and shopping malls, even though they're still out there. They're nowhere close to what they used to be in yeah. terms of, of you know prominence and in terms of you know importance to pop culture. Uh, you know it's just it's not going to happen. And it was a matter of time anyway, because honestly, movie theaters really, frankly, aren't as necessary as they used to be, no. right? But uh, we're going to talk about how theater owners are upset with Universal because Universal broke rank and they decided to release uh, the Trolls sequel on day of release. Uh, bypassing theaters altogether. Now, their issue, their issue here isn't that they're bringing trolls out on video on demand. The issue is that it wasn't out in the theaters first. Because you know what happened, even with um, even with Onward, Disney dropped Onward very quickly onto digital, but it had already played in theaters for a couple of weeks. Right. So the theater owners had already gotten you know their cut of the pie. Right. And what they're doing, Universal is doing, is they are bypassing theaters altogether. Now other studios have basically postponed movies indefinitely, but Universal's like, nah, we're gonna we gotta make some money. And given that they have to close their theme parks too, that might be a motivator in this decision. I'm surprised they haven't just released movies to directly to you know VOD and before this. Honestly, they've been able to do it for years. Yeah, they're they're basically talking about and we're gonna read this article on Cartoon Brew, but they said it's more or less been a courtesy a courtesy to the theaters. Yeah. Plus, it's also been a way for the studios to inflate their revenue. You know, we did a billion dollars at the box office, even though their actual cut is significantly smaller. Yeah. But at this point, the theater or the uh, studios might even be looking at this like, why do we have to share with the movie theaters at all? Well, they technically don't, and they haven't for years. But no. like you said, it's been done as a courtesy. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, they really. I'm surprised this hasn't happened sooner. Well, and I think that this is going to set precedent, and that's what the theater owners are angry about because they're like, wait, Universal just bypassed the theatrical release altogether. And this movie was actually predicted to be pretty big. Mm -hmm. And oh my God, everybody else is going to, and they're probably afraid they're, you know, Disney's going to do it with Mulan and Black Widow. And, but they might have to. Disney just had to borrow $6 billion yeah. to pay its debts. They might have to release these movies earlier, especially if this shutdown goes on for months. Well, I guess what's going on. I think these studios have no choice. They have to do, get the money back somehow. Right, and we're going to talk about just the, the the state that the movie theaters are in right now. Now, I knew this uh, a couple days ago because we're AMC Stubbs members, mm -hmm. and I got an email that they basically said, we plan on being shut for 6 to 12 weeks minimum. Mm -hmm. They that, did. That's not good. That's not good. Um, 1,000 theaters and 11,000 screens in 15 countries. They are... Uh, yeah, they are the largest movie exhibitor in the world. And the CEO, Adam Aaron, said to CNN, there's not a penny of revenue coming in right now. Well, you're right, because how they can make the money. Everything's shut down. Nothing. They can't, nothing. like, sell online, like GameStop or something. Right. They can't do curbside popcorn pickups. or Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, do you want an $8 bucket of popcorn? Um, this is what he said. Three weeks ago, AMC was an immensely healthy company. And now with the expenses out the door and no revenue, we are burning through cash and liquidity that we need. Only the federal government is going to provide that. Um, our revenue this week, our revenue this week is zero. Zero revenue. We don't need a bailout. We just need loans, which we'll be able to pay back with interest when we reopen and revenue starts coming back in the door. Well, that's what they think. Yeah, that this is the problem. This is the problem. Okay, they're like, oh, we'll be fine because theaters will open and the movies will come. No, see, Universal is setting a precedent. They're like, oh, we're just going to skip the theaters entirely. And if customers in the next couple months get used to watching uh, brand new releases at home, which is a hell of a lot cheaper and a hell of a lot easier. A lot more comfortable. It's a lot more comfortable. You know what's going to happen? They're going to be like, we don't want to go to the movie theater anymore. We want our, our new releases. We want our, our new Marvel movies uh, at home. Mm -hmm. you know, but then the theaters can't 
or the uh, studios can't brag about their billion dollar box office. This is it. Because a lot of that money goes to the theaters too. I mean, not a lot. They have they usually, especially Disney negotiates uh, smaller and smaller cuts. But um, a lot of the money is tied up with the theaters. Uh, that being said, the theaters make most of their money in concessions. Right, right. Um, yeah, they don't get a whole lot. And a lot of the theaters around here, unfortunately, um, they just refurbish the one theater in the next town over. And we love it. We went to go see Sonic the Hedgehog there. And it was great. And it's a locally owned theater. And it's probably not going to open back probably up. Probably not. Uh, because I, I just don't see how they can. So theater owners issue veiled threat to Universal over the Trolls release. Uh, Universal's decision to launch DreamWorks Animation's Trolls World world tour day and date on demand and theatrically that's a mouthful yeah and the few parts of the world where theaters may be open has elicited a bitter response from the national association of theater owners in a hollywood reporter interview john fithian chief of the organization that represents american theater owners issued a veiled threat to universal saying that exhibitors will not forget this they will not forget this uh so could could when amc opens back up could they be like we're not playing any more universal movies but would they though because that's going to be a loss to them too yeah here's what he said he said with the exception of universal every studio has gone overboard to reassure exhibitors that the theatrical model works for them and they look forward to releasing their movies theatrically once the virus is done and every one of those studios called their exhibition partners and talked them through their plans for delayed release before they announced them. So the theater owners knew that they were going to push back Black Widow and move Right, on, they so. actually called and talked to them about it. Only Universal on Trolls undermined the theatrical model. And Universal told no exhibitor about their plans on Trolls until approximately 20 minutes before the announcement. Ooh. Exhibitors know who their partners are, and every other studio has demonstrated true partnership and belief in the theatrical model during this time of crisis for all Americans, and indeed, all moviegoers around the world. Uh, so, that tells me that Universal is going to be on the naughty list uh, if the theaters open back yeah, up. Yeah, but if they do, they're going to need all the money they can get. They're not going to pass on big movies from Universal. Yeah, that's true. I mean, another, you know, Jurassic Park comes out, Jurassic yeah. World comes out. They're going to make money. They're not going to pass. I mean, look, they had they had a fit about the, and I do think that they were draconian, the the deal with uh, The Last Jedi. It was. Up. I'm sorry, but that was. And now they're like, Disney's our friend because Disney pushed the movies back. But Disney has done this before, not just in Star Wars, where they have demanded more of the take over and over and over. You want those movies? You're going to give us this. And if you, if you fail you to comply, we're going to fine you with this and fine you with that. So Disney really isn't their friend. But, you know. They're not. So this is going to be interesting, though, because the money might not be there. The reason theaters might stay open is because the studios need the theaters to inflate the revenue. Because they're like, let's say Universal thought Troll would be a 600 million dollar film they could have made 260 million out of the theatrical window at 20 bucks they can sell 13 million copies can they sell 13 million copies that's a big data point they're going to learn a lot from doing trolls they might not it might be that they take a beating on trolls well not just that you have to figure too that 600 260 million theatrical window each person in your family has to pay for a ticket yeah 10 15 bucks yeah, a ticket. So 20 bucks you know what if you have a family of five that's less money than they were going to pay at the theater now that grant their cut would have been you know less but you know what i mean it, it, 13 million copies because they would have had to sell 13 million tickets and it, you know yeah. it's it yeah it's and that's that's where it's going to shift because and then as people get used to paying uh one price for like infinite entertainment like netflix and disney plus are they going to pay 20 bucks for a movie when they know, like even Onward, they dropped Onward mm -hmm. early, but it's coming to Disney Plus in a couple weeks. Yeah, most people are going to wait. Why buy it? You yeah. Know? So this might this might actually shoot them in the foot. Mm -hmm. They could have actually probably made a half a half a billion dollars on Trolls if they just, you know, held out. But, um, but, but they, then there was something going on at the, the studio. They had to have the money right now. Well, okay, so Universal has their theme parks closed. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm wondering how desperate is Disney going to get? You know, if this closure drags on for months, will they be desperate enough? Because I'm sure if they drop Black Widow tomorrow for 20 or 40 bucks, a hell of a lot of people would buy it. Yeah, $40 even. Like, because it's not, it's like a rental right now. I mean, you're yeah. paying, I think the $20 is a, is a, that's rental. Yeah, video on demand. It's a rental fee. It's yeah. not even, you're not even buying the movie for 20 bucks. It's the nope. rental. So if they would turn around and say, hey, you know, the average ticket price is 10 bucks a ticket and we figure the average family size is four people, we're going to charge 40 bucks is what the rumor was for like Black Widow. They could do that and get, and they probably would get the $40. Yeah, because for a Marvel movie, they can. For Trolls, I think it's like, this is just another 
kids cartoon, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I, I don't, when there's all kinds of, they even have a Trolls cartoon on Netflix now, I think. Like, I don't know if there's any incentive to pay that much money to, to rent it. Um, whereas people will take the kids to the movies just to go do something. Yeah. You know, get them um, out of the house. Yeah, pretty but much. Now they're in the house and you can't get them out of the house. So. so I have to wonder, will they, you know, do it this way? And then when the theaters open back up, if they open back up, will they, will they, you know, bring it to theaters too? I don't know, but, but not now because now the theaters <laughs> now are Now theaters are pissed off at them. So I don't know. This is going to be interesting, but I, I'm I'm thinking it's not just going to be universal. Again, this is when everybody thought the closure was only going to last for a couple weeks. AMC is coming out and saying that they're going to be down for six to 12 weeks or longer. Yeah. And they're making no money. People none. are like, oh, Disney's going to reopen. But we're hearing from cast members that they still haven't got their schedules yet. Yeah. They should be getting them by now if they were reopening on April 1st. Yeah. And they're not. But tomorrow is meeting day. So it is. Mondays are meeting days at Disney. That's when they, they make all their decisions for the week. And the reason I think the cast members are not getting their schedules is because they're trying to figure out how to politely tell them that they're SOL after the first of the month. Yeah, well, we'll have to wait and see what happens. We'll see what happens. But uh, interesting situation. We'll keep an eye on this, mm -hmm. obviously, uh, as the entertainment industry uh, burns itself to the ground. It's awful. I mean, it really is. Um, so good luck to all of you out there who are working at movie theaters or uh, working you know, in some aspect of the entertainment industry that are, are you know, is becoming collateral damage yeah. of this. Um, definitely, it's it, it really sucks. And th nobody could have predicted this. No. You know? Well, I mean, they could have. They just well, wouldn't, wouldn't have changed the outcome. Wouldn't have changed the outcome. So, all right, we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.